Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And on this episode of the WebEx Edge, we're gonna show you how you can use a great feature with uh, your modern WebEx devices uh, called WebView to be able to um, better create interactive, engaging content for your employees, uh, your users of your modern WebEx devices. And um, we've done some videos on this already, uh, specifically with the WebEx board um, and Desk Pro in regards to uh, web apps. So this is kind of a continuation onto it. But we want to give you some examples on uh, exactly how you could leverage these, this technology to create content that would help uh, users learn how to adopt and utilize uh, the devices that you have uh, in front of them. Uh, an addition we're going to do is we're actually going to show you how you can leverage WebView on uh, room series devices that do not have interactivity uh, and give you some examples about how you could still leverage WebView to provide this similar type of content to help your users out. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've got my uh, laptop here and I'm just going to bring up my web browser. And you'll see here that I uh, what I've done is I went ahead and logged in to um, I've got two devices. I have a WebEx board uh, and I also have a uh, RoomKit Plus sitting back here. Um, one thing I want to note too is that uh, the board is cloud registered. This RoomKit Plus is actually on-premise registered. Now I do have it uh, connected um, using um, the WebEx Edge for Devices connector, so it is partly cloudy. If you might want to, you might want to say, but this would work on a modern device with uh, updated code as well, even if it wasn't Edge uh, linked. So while I encourage you to do that, just know that you don't have to. But I want to give you some examples uh, from both sides. So what I've got here is, is um, I have logged into my uh, WebEx board and I'm actually going to take a step back here and show you the main interface. Um, now, you can actually do this today from Control Hub, but I'm actually doing this demo directly on the device itself uh, because that's how you're going to have to do it on um, the, the room based systems, uh, especially if you're on prem. So uh, we'll do some more videos showing some of those other things, but uh, I want to keep this at a high level. So we're just going to continue on and get started here. So I'm logged into the board and I'm going to go up here to my integration and I'm going to hit my uh, UI extensions editor. Now, when I bring this up, this is a great tool to be able to create these extensions. Now, if you saw me do a video on the web apps, you've already seen this. So we're going to kind of go through it pretty quick. I've actually already created a, uh, a web app called the WebEx Edge and uh, I just gave it a name. And then you'll see here, this is my web app URL. Now, I'm actually going to kind of go down here and um, show you this one uh, just simply because this one right here is actually going to go to the channel of the WebEx Edge. So the video you're watching now, the channel that's a part of it, we're going to actually put this on the board and show you how you can interact, pick videos. So think of this in the same way as you could create some content. This could be a vBrick server. This could be um, a Vimeo. It could be YouTube. It could be anything. It could be even a homegrown server that you have, you know, uh, able to uh, disperse this media. Um, but by putting these links on here and on a board, because you have interactivity, users could go up, interact with the board and be able to pick the videos that they want. These could be how to videos of, of various things. And, you know, the WebEx Edge channel is a good example um, to show you how that you could have these videos. So I've already got that one on here. But what I'm also going to do here is, is I've got an app space app. And I'm going to just copy this URL from this uh, other tab here. I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to create a new one, create a web app, brings up my uh, dialog here. And I'm just going to put app space and um, go down here to my, oh, sorry, that was the URL. I'm going to paste that in right there and then give it a name. We'll call it AppSpace. All right. And once we have that created, we have our list here. We can reorganize these however we want to, but I'm going to leave them the way it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and forward this up and export it to my board. So that's actually happened already. Uh, we're good to go there. Now what I'm going to do here is switch over to my other tab. Now this is actually a, um, a device that is a, it's a codec plus. So this is a room series device. It does, it's not interactive. It's actually this device right here behind me with a touch 10 and um, a little bit different here because we don't support specifically web apps on the devices, but we do support the web view or the web engine uh, on all of our uh, modern devices. So what does that mean to you? Um, web apps, we kind of have more from a technology or terminology standpoint of something that is interactive. And innately, we do not have interactive uh, capabilities on a room series device because there's no touch screen, no touch panel available to it. So uh, in this demo, it's a little bit different to set this up. Uh, I'm not going to go into great detail, but I am going to show you how you can create a macro. Uh, I have one created. I'm just going to pop it up and then show you how to assign a action panel to that macro to give you a very similar effect. Um, and we're also going to show you some some tips and tricks on, you know, what you might want to do to make this uh, a little more, um, uh, you know, ideal for a system to just kind of autoplay or automatically do something. 
So uh, what I'm going to do here is go back to my integration uh, panel, except this time I'm actually going to go to the macro editor. Now, on my macro editor, I'm actually, I've am actually i already created this, so I'm going to import it real quick. I'm going to import from file. I uh, go to my downloads. I've got this web app here. And I'm just going to very, very briefly kind of go through this and show you that um, from a high level, we're not going to do a, a macro tutorial here, but this is uh, something you can use from a basic example. Uh, I'll put some links to the developer uh, page to show you how to create your own macros. But uh, in a nutshell, what's happening here is, is I'm basically creating a macro that says uh, on the event of if someone clicks a panel, and in this case, I'm going to name my panel YouTube. And I'm going to show you how we're going to create that in a moment. Uh, if someone presses that, I want to run this command. And this is an API command available uh, on all the Room Series devices. Um, but it's user interface, web view display. And then I put the URL of the um, uh, link that I want to play. Now, what I've done here is, is I've actually went to YouTube and took uh, one of the uh, videos that we have on uh, the WebEx Edge channel. And the only thing I've done here is I've added a few switches and there's part of a YouTube API that can show you how to do this. Um, but essentially I'm telling it I want to go embed or go full screen essentially with this video and I'm gonna tell it to autoplay. And the reason I'm doing that is, is if you think about a video on a Room Series device, um, I can bring up a YouTube site but I can't go up there, touch my screen to be able to actually engage with it and play with it. So uh, what I'm doing here is, is I'm, I'm just kind of showing you an example, an idea of how you can still uh, leverage and use videos on these uh, room series devices that are um, not interactive, but still get some video content. So I have this created. I'm going to go ahead and save this uh, to my device. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on uh, because we need to have it running. Uh, so that way that event listener can uh, actually be active. So now what I have to do is actually create that action panel or button. Again, on the web apps, this is kind of already done for you in one simple step. A little more complex here, um, but definitely want to show you how you can do it. So go back to integrations, uh, go to my UI extensions editor, very similar to how I did with the uh, board and the web apps. So for now, when I hit new, I have the ability to create a panel or an action button. Now for this, I'm just going to create an action button. Now here, I have a few options. The first thing I'm going to do is, is the ID is the name of that panel that I created. Um, and, and if you remember my macro, I created a panel ID listener for YouTube. So in order for this to trigger that macro, I need to make sure that my panel ID is called YouTube. So I'm going to create YouTube, spell it right. And then now I'm going to give it a name. Uh, this is different from the actual panel, but this is what the button is actually going to be called on the touch 10. So um, I'm going to say how to video just to kind of have an example example here. Um, I do have the ability to say when is this actually uh, shown in this particular case. We want to show it out of a call because we're not going to be able to yet uh, share web view and call. And um, it wouldn't really be ideal or practical if you're showing a how to video or some type of integration. Uh, it's not something you typically bring up in a call anyways, but you do have the options here. Um, and of course, you have the ability right now to use some uh, some custom icons uh, for this one. I'm actually going to use the Internet icon uh, as kind of a, a global uh, sign here. Uh, you could do the video icon if you wanted to, similar to call. Um, but stay tuned to that. There's some more coming in regards to this. And then, of course, you can create a color. Uh, in this case, we'll go ahead and do the uh, the orangish red color here. So now that I have this created, if you look over here on the left hand side, you'll see I've kind of got an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and publish that, export it to the device, just like what we did on the board. OK, so now we've created um, our uh, extensions and our action panels, web apps on our devices. So what we're going to do now is, is we're actually going to um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to actually show you on these devices uh, exactly uh, what we uh, did and show you how we can interact with them. So I'm going to change my camera view here. Now, let's let this focus and let's get some light on the situation. So um, this is the board. And if you remember, we had the one app web app that I had already created. And uh, then I created a second one. And you'll see here we've got the WebEx Edge and we have App Space. So just to kind of show you how these would work, I'm going to go ahead and load up the WebEx Edge um, URL. And give this a second here. And you'll see that this is um, actually showing me the video that I was actually already on. Um, and this page is going to continue to load uh, as my internet is going uh, super awesome fast here. Um, but I can also um, click on uh, the uh, Edge link here, and you'll see that this is the playlist that I have of all my videos. I can continue to interact with it. So if I want to pick a specific video that I want to actually show or learn about, um, the difference here is obviously that I can kind of make some choices. So I can click on any of the videos. They're going to play. Um, 
I can actually put these, actually I hit the wrong button there, but I can put them in full screen mode if I wanted to. So um, again, showing you interactivity. Now, just for sake of showing you something else here, this is the app space. This is actually a great uh, modern demo uh, that app space has put together for us um, to show you how you can leverage app space with our room devices. So um, this is a, a good one to kind of show you again. So you how you can do some interactivity. Um, but this right here is uh, an interactive demo, so I can touch to start the demo. You've probably seen a lot of uh, demos like this before, um, but it allows me to have some interactivity. But I can have a list here of specific tutorials uh, and, and present information to my users however I needed to, to be able to show them um, some how-tos on uh, the devices. So now we're gonna change my camera view here, and we're gonna go to a uh, this uh, smaller device here. So this is the Avenger cast. This is the room system um, and not as easy to see here because of my zoom. But you'll notice that I do have my how to video uh, on my touch 10 here linked to this device, which is the uh, room kit plus. Um, so obviously no interactivity here on this screen, so I can't interact with it. But I do have a button on my touch 10. So now if I click on this how to video, you'll see here on the screen, it says opening web page. And this is the full screen video automatically playing, and this is on an on-premise device. Um, so again, just wanted to kind of take a second, show you guys uh, a few things about how you can create these uh, interactive videos. Um, these could be web pages, they could be, um, you know, just uh, slides showing how to do something, uh, but wanted to kind of give you a flavor and show you some ideas of how you can leverage the web view to be able to do more with your modern WebEx devices. So I hope you liked the video. Please comment if you have any questions um, and stay tuned for more videos because uh, we'll be doing lots more. Thanks. Have a great day.